Hi everyone, this is Sheena from For the Love of Paper, and it's Monday, but I'm doing Wednesday's video for Marguerite Miller, week two, and also a spread in a new journal that I held off from the other day because I was running out of time. So the prompts for this week are an object with jewelry or adornment, a light source you find interesting, something stapled, something found in a garden, a receipt, and bonus is a black, a black ink stamping. So I'm doing something a little bit different. I really wanted to challenge myself and not just go all the way stickers this year. So I have a few things picked out. My object base is gonna be a tag. I have this that I'm gonna staple on. This is gonna be the black ink, but I also have a couple other stamps here to use with stays on for blank ink. Here's part of my receipt from yesterday, getting groceries, and then I do have one sticker. So what I'm gonna do is create a pocket out of this piece of origami paper, and this is something that you may find in a garden, which is like a little koi pond with some lily pads, stuff like that. So first, I'm going to turn this into a pocket. Now I need to decide how I'm going to do this pocket. This needs to fit inside whatever way you look at it. So let's make that a little bit bigger like that. And I want it to come stick out the top a little. So like that, I think I can turn this into a pocket and then tuck it in. All right. So let me go ahead and sit down on the set of standing. Um, yeah, so my week is already first day back to work. It's already in disarray, so I might as well just get some things done while I can. My schedule's shifted a little bit because someone from maintenance is coming for the first time in almost a year. Uh did I do that right? Yeah. To fix my door that you can see daylight through. And um, to update the thermostats, that one has no numbers whatsoever. And the other one, neither of them read right. Yeah, my uh, electric bill was uh, $180. And I live in a shoebox. Definitely not okay. So they wanted me to, sign me, me to sign a new lease and I said, how about you take care of some of the things that I've been dealing with for a year? All right, I totally could have cut that shorter but no one's gonna see it. So that's gonna go down there. And this is gonna go inside. I think I gave enough clearance for that. All right, so what are we doing with this? Let me set this off to the side push it up anyway so I can work with this. First thing is I just want like the words from this. Kind of like that. Yep, that's going to fit. Okay. And then I want to put some splatter on here. Oh, I love stays on. I have to, I just have to smell it. You know what I should do? Just take a piece of blue paper and put behind it. Are you in? Yes, you're in. Did I fully stamp that already? No idea. Mm, I kind of see it. So this is just a splatter stamp from Amazon. Okay, there's part of our black inking. Now let's do some coffee spots. Oops, how about you push the thing down? 
There you go. That one a little bit darker. Can do the bigger one. there okay so there's some of that then I know this is going on there I feel like I need it to be oops a little bit smaller kind of like that and we're gonna put this stamped on there hopefully I get a really good inking you're gonna find what in the world you know what it did it ripped huh it like took the ew like it took the uh well, i wonder if it will do it twice hmm Well, poo. That's not the way it's supposed to be. Well, I guess it just adds a little something to it. Not entirely what it was supposed to be, but a little something. So let me go ahead. I've not opened this before. This is a set. And whenever I tried to use the other colors, they really didn't work. So this uh, very well could have been an Amazon bust. Let me just see if I can. <laughs> Shouldn't it be pushing down? There, that's not bad. Maybe the ink just needs to run down because I've never used it before. All right, well, we're gonna do it right here. There. I'm pressing really hard. There. I may be off the corner here. Ooh. There we go. Okay. So that's some black inking too. Um, I'm gonna put this silly thing on there. We have plenty of other things that are found in a um, garden. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Oh my goodness, on here. something like that. I need to get a little bit more underneath here. I've had a headache all day. I thought it was because I ate a salad for lunch and my body said, uh, can you eat some carbs, please? All right, what else? I want to put a little of this washi tape I found in part of my cleaning out that I probably used once or twice, if that. It's just kind of like a, I don't have any idea where it's from, but it's uh, like a grungy, looks like map, like a streets. Put that there, put it around. Okay, we are going to, I think I'm going to glue this on the back. Of the tag. Oh, I forgot I wanted to do something. I want to... Let's go around the edges. We 
then have my light source that I find interesting. Now, I'm assuming this is a light source. That's why I find it interesting. So, if it's not... Um, I guess I'm covering that thing anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. That's crooked. Bort, bort, bort. Oh, look, the fern came off on there. Yeah, I essentially covered it up anyway. All right, there's a light source that I find interesting, and here is my adornment. So I'm going to clip this in here. And it is a little hummingbird that's going to go in there. And my something stapled is part of this, like, it was like a spider webby thing that, um, I got it at the Dollar General, I think. I feel like I need to staple something into that though. So what could that be? Mm, think, think, think. What's in this little bin right here that are things that I never put away? I gotta remember it's still gotta fit in that thing. This is what I'm digging through. I have this bin of things that That's what I'm going to do. That I have not put away. Oh, I kind of like that number. I think I'm going to use the number. Oh my goodness, there's stuff going everywhere now. And we are going to... I still think that too much come out some maybe if I combine these two mm. oh my goodness I would like you to form a ball please this is just like a number I had stamped at some point we're going to use tiny attacher. I'm going to staple above and below. So that's my something stapled. Do I need to put something else on here? What is that getting stuck on? No, it has to be that way, right? Yeah. All right. That little... Am I forgetting something? An object with a jewelry or adornment. So the tag is the object, and then we have the jewelry or adornment. A light source you find interesting. That's on here. Um, something stapled. We just stapled that on. Something found in a garden. Well... We have the pocket. Um, obviously, we didn't do so well with the uh, mansion, but the hummingbird can be found in a garden in a humming, at a hummingbird feeder. The receipt, and we have black ink stamping. So, this should go in my little pocket that I need to glue down. So we're just going to glue the whole thing down. I'm using lots of glue. My um, Scotch Create glue that I bought with a gift card from my brother for Christmas has not arrived. Mm, maybe here. So then, if I did this right... 
that's going to tuck in there. <laughs> and that's it. That's my Marguerite Miller for this week. So, oh, I just totally banged you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's <laughs> our Marguerite Miller for this week, a tag and a little pocket. Um, a different way, a different take on the whole collage thing. But yeah, this, this year I wanted to kind of be more than just a flat collage on a piece of paper. So that's week two. Um, I have tons of these things. I You can't see it, but uh, look, there's one stuck to my glue. Um, I take them off tags, my clothes. I save every one of them. Um, so I have a whole whole mess of them over here that I just brought out from a pile I was gathering in my bedroom. But yeah, I save all of them to use. All right, let's set all this off to the side. And put that on my little table next to me that away after and let's see let me see if I can shove this back in that little basket or that little crochet bin my mother made me so I keep little pieces in I'm gonna put this in a little bin behind me because that can be used for what can it use before what can it be used for what did I just say it can be used for what's the word Clusters, that's it. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh my gosh. Can you tell the day I had? All right, here we go. Here's this little baby. She doesn't have a name yet. Every journal I do has names. She doesn't have a name yet. I have these flowers pulled out and I still have these rhinestones from the other day. So because she's new, she needs a cover. I want all... Where did that just go? Oh, it's on me. So this is the first signature. And it's a little booklet. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. So this is, I got this off of AliExpress. It came with three lines, plain and grid paper. It's got the little um, Midori um, Traveler's Notebook style and then a the little leather clip. So I'm going to pull this out and we're going to decorate the cover. But currently she does not have a name. Okay. So these are the pieces that I pulled the other day. Mm, just going to see if I have a little, a little thing to just keep her flat. There we go. Oh, my nose is itching. Can I tell you guys? I've done a couple of videos, but um, I take pride in my hair. And I went and got a haircut last week and she cut all my hair off. I said, please let it touch my shoulders. No shoulder. Mm -mm. I don't know in what world, two inches above my shoulders. And I have curly hair. So, um, part mushroom right now. <laughs> I mean, I love mushrooms, but I don't want to be one. <laughs> all right, so this is the little girl. Um, and then I have these, again, if you remember, this is one I pulled together with pieces I already had. So the only thing that I added that I didn't have out was the bow, the girl, and all these other pieces were scraps that I had out that needed to be put away. And instead of putting them away, we're turning them into this collage. Yeah, so, um... I feel like, as far as my hair goes, that, um, where's my tape runner? Uh, I was, like, sh in shock, kind of devastated, um, when she was done and I saw it. Um, I didn't, I had to go to the dentist afterwards. So it was, like, two brutal things in one day. After I went to the dentist, I came home and I did not talk to a person. A person. 
for the rest of the day. Mm, I'm trying to see how I could. I think at one point I had a plan. Maybe I'll put this over here and chop it off and I'll wait till the end to do that. Yeah, so I didn't talk to a person because I felt some type of way about my hair. And this is like a pink glittery type thing. On Thursday, I went and visited my cousin and I had said to her, I feel like it was kind of like God clogged up that girl's ears to not hear me say, let it touch my shoulders because, um, like how much it was bothering me and that I needed to, um, have some, can you see I'm struggling with this? Um, finish your story. I was struggling with it and like because my hair is like my thing so um that day whenever I came home after having lunch with her my devotional said about um we need to focus on inward beauty and not outward and I was like okay now I really feel like he clogged her ears up to me now have this haircut. I am adjusting. It's taken me a minute, but I am adjusting. This is really challenging. I might have too many pieces. Well, I want to glue these down. This one first. Yeah, whenever I came home and read that, I texted her. I'm like, you remember what I said at lunchtime? Well, tell me if this does not align with that. So, I am starting to get over it. It's not that bad. I'm just used to having a, I have very thick hair, a full head of curly thick hair. And we are definitely beyond that right now. Put that there. I went to another Dollar General in between getting my hair done and, um, going to the dentist that day and um, looked there for the tape runners that I would always get because that was one I hadn't tried. No, still, I guess they must have stopped making them. They were like a good find, a good find. Now I'm just gonna play with these. Oh, this needs to go on there somewhere. How about right there? That's not a sticker, is it? No. Okay, she's gonna go on there. That butterfly can go there. Um. That's backwards. Mm, how do I feel about that? Oops, I just flung that. Hmm. 
I'm going to put that there and chop it off. Now I have ink all over my fingers. What are we up to? 25 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to put that there and chop the bottom off. Let me go ahead and cut her out a little bit. This um, girl came on a roll of... Um, do they call them pot? No. This is definitely acetate, but um, it was a roll that I got from AliExpress. I was totally off screen, wasn't I, doing that? Sorry. You know what I have on my mind? Reese's peanut butter ice cream. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking about. In case you were wondering. All right. So we're going to put her all the two stickers are on top of each other. Put her right there. Stop going crooked. You can tell by her leggings she's crooked or her knee highs. Okay. The swan can go on. <laughs> Little butterfly. We'll go ahead and put this rose down. That needs fixed. Which way is what? She is so faint. Such a faint um, pink. Off. There was something on that acetate. That's why I wanted to remove it. Put that there. Is that everything? I've now used everything except for maybe one of these. These are from Hobby Lobby. Put that there. I did not turn on my... Um, hot glue gun how about do you know what I was thinking the other day self you have pinchers tweezers could they help I don't know This is going to be like using chopsticks. <laughs> and last time I tried to use them, um, my friend said, you know, they're upside down. That's why you can't pick anything up. Okay. <laughs> Maybe three. I like the color of that butter. The contrasting colors on the contrasting colors. Maybe one more of these. Like that. I have to be, oh, I forgot I didn't glue that down yet. I have to be careful that I don't make too much, um, bulk that it falls off. If that makes sense. Can you see that? <laughs> now I'm just being dumb. All right. I will use art glitter glue, I think. Because, oh, see, them little stinkers, they do not stay. Now I'm really going to be tested because that's super tiny. in the center yeah like I have a feeling that might come off 
but for now, we're going to put it down, reinforce it, smush it, smush it, smush it. So it's as flat as it can be. Okay. Go ahead and put, should it be that way or that way? Definitely the other way. I'm just putting enough to make it go in because I didn't turn that hot glue gun on. Okay. And here's the real test. Let me push them up. Dot, dot, dot. And then put them back. <laughs> Going up. Trace. That's your Spanish lesson for today. Okay. And what I didn't do is chop off um, this here. These scissors are way too big. I don't even know what I'm trying to do. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get these Tim Holtz ones out from the arm of the, there we go, I got them. It's like almost I need to flip it over. Please don't drop off. There we go. Okay, and it actually might also work better if I open this up. Now we're thinking smart. There we go. So there it is. That's our cover. I feel like there should be something here. What about come on? Any one of you, hundred W. This takes concentration. Nope, not that one. Hmm. Do we like it? See, now I'm going to get out of control because then I'm going to put some there. Okay, you're done. You are done. We are done. Remember I said that I can't have a bunch on there because it will, oops, that's not the right spot. It will um, clog it, like mess it up. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Not thinking? Okay. There we go. What about a word? Hmm. Okay. I will do that because that's flat. All right, before I do something and dump them everywhere, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but Lifeline, the um, medical helicopter is coming into town. And if you hear that in the background, that's what it is. It literally goes right over top. Okay, words, 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 words. I put words in a box. Sorry for the screech. I needed to move my space heater. Okay. Words, 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 words. Those all are going to be really long. Oh, 
those all are really big. Oh, wait, there's a little bit in here. Like this. So, I see Be Happy that would fit there. I need short ones, short ones. You probably are seeing them jump right out at you. How about this can start up here. The dearest little girl. Okay, move. Dearest little girl with a joyous spirit. Okay, I might be changing my mind. The dearest little girl. With a joyous spirit. Now I need something to finish it. Here's good and true. Good and true. Now I need something to edit. The dearest little girl with joy with a joyous spirit. Good and true. I'm going to add another one. Because I can. Beauty and Grace. This, I think, needs to go up a little bit. Like that. The dearest little girl. With a joyous spirit. Good and true. Beauty and grace. Now. <laughs> How to end it. Um, what time am I at? 38 minutes. Not sticking down very well. I might need to reinforce them with something. Okay, go back the other way. Find something quickly. The dearest little girl with a joyous spirit, good and true, beauty and grace. I think the girl is a loyal soul. Now I see heart and soul. Um, you have to pick. Dearest little girl with a joy spirit, good and true, beauty and grace. 
peace and happiness. And there's a period at the end of that. And that's where we're stopping, okay? That's where we're stopping. We're gonna put it down here at the bottom. Okay, I'm happy with that. We added some pieces to fill in some spaces. The dearest little girl with a joyous spirit, good and true, beauty and grace, peace and happiness. And she is not gonna stick right there. So we're gonna go in here and reinforce all the way around. And make sure that stays. I might have to put some on these too. But there we go. So you, you got to see week two of Marguerite Miller with the tag. And this cover for this little stinky journal. That's super cute. If you think of any names, let me know. Um, but yeah, I love these little things. You know, I have to figure out how to put it in there without messing up the front. Popping that little flower off. That is the test. I should not be doing this on camera. I'm going to see what I did to it. Oh, you know what I did to it? That little stinky thing came off again. Come out of there. I heard it fall, but I don't see it. I definitely heard it fall, but I don't see it. I'm just going to have to put a different one in there. I'm just going to have to get my little pack out. and Oh, I just heard it hit the ground. So wherever it was, it is now on the ground. So I'm going to have to go pull a little baby one. Oh, you know what? I have them right here. I think, I think I have little tiny ones right here. That are... Um, what brand would they be? They would be... Mm, I don't know if these... This might be a little bigger than that. I feel like I have really tiny um, Stampin' Up! ones, but let's just try this. It's a little bigger, which might be okay anyway. These suckers are really sticky. Maybe this is for good reason. Yeah, and that's way better proportion, I think. All right, everything happened for a reason. We're good. There she is. It's my Monday, but you have a great Wednesday. Bye.